My name is Jacob Friedman and I am an artist. So I was first inspired to do art in elementary school. I just had a really awesome art teacher and ever since then I've always just enjoyed it. It's just been a great stress reliever for me and I just naturally took to it so it's just something that's become part of my life. If I'm trying to like do a face and be like super realistic, I want to use like colored pencil. But if I'm doing something more abstract or like it's got a little bit more movement, then I would use something more like acrylic paint. But I'm always experimenting with different things, so. I've never done makeup before, like where I was actually trying to make it look good. I've watched my sister do her own makeup and I'm a pretty good observer. So like I've got like some of the basics down, some of the basic knowledge, but other than that, I really don't have any real experience. I don't think I'm gonna do very well today just because I don't have any experience, but hopefully I'll be able to make it look semi-decent. Like I wouldn't recommend going outside or being in public with whatever look I end up doing, but maybe it won't look horrible. So this is a beauty blender from what I've heard. And today we're gonna be starting by using this Revlon color spray. I think it's foundation is what I'm, I'm feeling. So we've already, I'm just gonna apply it to, I mean like, oh God, that feels like it was wrong. This is actually going really well so far. Guys, this might be successful. So I'm gonna contour her face, so I'm just gonna like draw like a line like down the side here I think is what you do like I mean like I'm, I'm knowledgeable I know what I'm doing contouring like makes sense because it's a lot like art because like you have to draw on the low lights and the highlights which is something that you focus on in like like a painting as well so I'm actually gonna do the contour again because I feel like I could make it a little more intense Then I'm gonna do the highlight. I'm just gonna go like right along the cheekbone. Ugh, oh, looking good. So I'm gonna do her eyebrows next and this is a product, I don't know what it's called. And I'm just gonna like draw in like where the eyelashes, like how I'm just gonna draw them in. I'm trying not to go like super dark cause this is like purple. Which I'm, oh God, that was really low. Oh God, that's yeah, fine. Now I'm just gonna like brush them across. Oh God, this is really not going well. They're purple. <laughs> your eyes are purple, or your eyebrows are purple. So I think like, I'm starting to realize that like, maybe having a background knowledge on like what um, all the materials do might help. Cause it's hard to do this when you like don't know like the, like, um, like the purpose for each material because I accidentally just made her eyebrows purple. I mean, it looks good though. <laughs> wow, that looks good. And I'm just gonna like choose like a darker color. This is like a brown. It looks like it's kind of like glittery too. And I'm gonna, here, so close your eyes. I'm gonna just go all the way across cool beans. This is going really well. It's going a lot better than I originally thought it would. I'm do doing that? so good. <laughs> Go me. So now I'm going to be putting nail polish on her face. <laughs> Just kidding. It's, it's highlighter. Got him. We're going to do a wing. So I'm feeling like really like, I can do this. So that's like a really tedious process, but you gotta be like super steady with that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Guys, makeup's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> 
Things could be worse. That looks good. That looks really good. So now I'm gonna just go in with some highlighter. Really accents the makeup nicely. And I can also use it to cover up some flaws that might have been made with the mascara. Which brings me to an amazing point because I'm actually about to use mascara. I just like, I really like green. I know they're all black, but my green's one of my favorite colors, so we're just gonna just go with that. Okay. So I think you're supposed to look like down, but not too far down. Like this? Like, yeah, midway down. Wow, that looks nice. Hang on, wait, look up. Mmm, that makes it, oh, but it's getting on the, <laughs> no, it just got all over the, it's, it's fine, I'll cover it up later. <laughs> So once again, very impressed with people who can put on mascara and then not get it on the eyelid. In hindsight, I probably should have done the mascara first. So that's another good tip. Now you can actually use mascara to um, fix the eyebrows as well. No, you can. So I'm just gonna just draw them on like that. Oh, that's much better. Much better. If you had black hair, this would look very normal. And then lastly, I am going to do her lips. This is my final look uh, after we just spent a half an hour doing makeup, but still I'm very content with this look. I think that this would be an awesome like everyday to school look. I think you could definitely wear this to school and like no one would judge you. For yeah. someone who's never done makeup before, I think this is like worth a round of applause. I don't think I did as bad as I thought I was gonna do. I think I did like the contouring well, which I think transfers over to art. Cause it's like working with like low lights and highlights and like where are the dark parts and the light parts. And that like is something that like is easy, easily identifiable in artwork as well as in makeup. So that's easier. Like the eyes, I knew that's what I was gonna struggle with. And I did. Cause that liner, I mean, you, you gotta have a tedious hand. Like it's hard to control that brush, so. Yeah, that's definitely where I struggled. I ended up using gold lipstick, which probably wasn't the right choice. Uh, and then I also did like a really giant wing, which is kind of over the top. So maybe I would do a little bit less of that. If I was gonna do something differently, I would like maybe not use as much uh, products on like the eyebrows, because I went way too over the top and her eyebrows are purple. I will take so much from this experience. Um, I think after all of this, I learned that makeup is really hard and I definitely respect people who are good at makeup because it's a challenge and like you see people do like even like simple makeup and it's like, oh, that should be pretty easy and it's not as easy as it seems. So that's definitely a big takeaway there. <laughs>